dum dee dum 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 Hey, slow down! Trust me, the sandbox is gonna be there. Hang on a sec, I forgot my backpack. I'm gonna see what the big event is. He's a very serious thrasher. Yeah, he never even falls down or gets boo-boos. Okay, now don't try this at home. Ta-da! Just thought I'd try something different. Yeah! Wow, he's so average. <laughs> yeah, who's the Maynard? He just happens to be my best friend. Really? No way! Oh, it's so nice to be related to a major media mogul. Thanks for the info, Uncle Tim. Listen up, everybody! Big news! In exactly one week, the SSMS Network, that stands for Sports, Sports, and More Sports, for those of you who probably aren't hip enough to know that, Anyway, the huge news is that the SSMS Skateboarding Championships are going to be right here in Greendale. And so are the Ziffers, the world's most extreme skateboarding team. Yay! <laughs> and the rumor is that the team's looking for a new member. Wow, this could be my chance to compete in a big-time skateboard championship right on my own home turf. Harvey, what a profoundly great idea. You could become a skateboarding legend. And then having you as my friend would make me seem even more fabulous than I already am. Wait a minute. Extreme doesn't even begin to describe the Zephyrs. Haven't you seen them on SSMS? No, I don't have cable. saying is that maybe before you think about trying out, you might need a little more practice. I mean, the Zephyrs are killer! Gee, Sabrina, you're supposed to be one of my best friends. I thought you'd be on my side. I am, but... Sabrina, how could you let Harvey down like this? What he needs right now is a friend who supports him, who isn't gonna make him endlessly work for what he wants, when she can simply buy it for him instead. Hello? Rolf, the world-famous extreme skateboarding champ? Expect a new student. He'll be arriving by limo. And remember the name, Kinkle. It's gonna be in lights. You're not really going to go along with this, are you? I don't know, maybe. Hey, at least Jem's on my side. Hmm. Harvey, I'm always on your side. But the truth is, the championships are in a week. You're gonna need a whole lot more practice than that before you're ready to skate with the Zephyrs. Well, it's pretty clear who your friends are, Harvey. Yeah, let's go. Hmm. I am gone for five minutes and the whole world falls apart. What just happened? Harvey? Jim? A limo? I know, Chloe. And now she's hiring some guy named Rolf. Rolf, the world-famous skateboard champion? Like he's only been on the cover of every cool magazine there is. Not helping, Chloe. You do know you just let Jim score some major points. I was just trying to be honest. Welcome to Skateland, the home of the incredibly famous Harvey Kinkle. Those of you who've read Mr. Kinkle's best-selling autobiography, My Story, All About Me, know that Mr. Kinkle prefers to be known simply as Extreme Harvey. This is the famed photo wall. And this, of course, is a picture of Jem Stone, the queen of Extreme Harvey's heart. These are of other close friends, and this photo has never been identified. Mr. Kinkle may once have known this girl, but he's been so dazzled by the lovely and generous Jem Stone that he no longer <gasps> remembers the poor creature's name. Miss, please don't touch Mr. Kinkle's property. Miss, miss! Huh? Oh, Sabrina, you don't want to miss this! It's the Zephyrs! Huh? 
Hey, kids! I'm the coach of the Zephyrs, and we thought you might like a free show! You just handed Harvey over to Jim like that. Chloe, she practically guaranteed to make him a member of the team. Besides, Harvey didn't want to hear the truth. He doesn't want to buy that it takes a lot of practice to ever be really great at something. Well, the only way he's ever going to make that team is if they're looking for a water boy. I just hope all that truth telling you did hasn't landed Harvey in Jim's clutches for good. Well, tomorrow Saturday we'll hang out. Who knows? Maybe we'll even see Harvey. Yeah, maybe. Chloe, check this. It's practically noon on Saturday, right? And I have been calling Harvey since 6 o'clock this morning. And? And according to his mom, he's been at Jem's house every waking hour since he left school yesterday. It's like he's practically let himself get adopted by her. Since when does telling the truth make it that you're not on somebody's side? Uh-oh. I'm on his side. All I was saying was that he needed more than a week's worth of practice. Darn that gem anyway! Look, I think you may be beating this practice thing to death. If it had been me, I would have cut Jim off at the pass. I'd have gone straight for the magic. It's up to you. But right now, I'm out of here. You get dangerous when you get this mad. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't decide to do each other's hair. I don't know why I should care anyway. Harvey's acting like such a jerk. Hey, it's me. Um, hi. How's it going over at Jem's? Not so good. Rolf says I'll need years of practice before I can even think about becoming a skateboard champ. Well, you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. Yeah, but practice is too much work. Jem's gonna see if she can get me into a two-day skateboarding seminar run by a sect of miracle-working shredder monks. And if that doesn't work out, you're not even in high school yet. You've got all the time in the world to work on your moves. Yeah, but I don't want to wait. I want to be a champ, and I want to be one now. See you, Sabrina. Whoa! Harvey's my best friend. I've got to do something to help him. Maybe Chloe's right. Maybe I have been harping on the practice thing too much. <laughs> Little fish, big fish. Little fish, big fish. Man, are we bored. And that, Aunt Zelda, is why I must be allowed to get a spell from the spooky jar. Ah, <laughs> an end to the boredom is in sight. Sabrina, Zelda's studying at the library. What's up? I was on Harvey about practice, 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 and Jem swooped in. And then the fancy coach dumped him, and now Harvey's heartbroken because he can't be killer in time for the skateboard championships. And now I need a spell from the spooky jar because he's my best friend, and I want to help him make his dream come true. So please let me have one. Please, please, please. Oh, wow. Wanting to make a friend's dream come true. That's totally cool. Friendship schmenship. You're missing the big picture here. This is a great PR opportunity. Witch uses magic to selflessly help lesser being. Just the thing witches need to counteract all those negative cauldron and wart stereotypes. And by helping you out here, I could probably end up with an award from the Witches Council. Do you really think so? Well, in any case, that's what we'll tell Zelda when she finds out. <laughs> Wait to know what the problem is? The entire neighborhood knows what the problem is! You've been out in the yard ranting about it for hours. Over his head, give this egg a crack, and your friend Harvey will become a star on the skateboard track. One standard athletic fame and fortune spell. Now go and whine no more. Thanks, everybody! Hmm. Huh? Hey, aren't we invited to watch? Darn, we're back <sighs> to boredom. Huh? 
I always speak too soon. <laughs> okay, I've got the spell that'll turn Harvey into a skateboard champ, but where is he? Mrs. Kinkle, is Harvey home? Is Harvey here? Harvey! Harvey! <laughs> Kiss my sneakers. You'll gain my respect. Yeah, but I'll lose my lunch. What are you doing here? I'm working out with Rolf. He says that I have some serious skateboarding talents. I thought you were concentrating on Harvey. Forget Harvey. Rolf says he needs, like, tons of practice and the Shredder Monk's art returning calls. So I've decided to land myself a spot on the Zephyrs and be Greendale's skateboarding hero. Wait a minute. You just, like, gave up on Harvey? What did Harvey say when he heard that? Oh, he was totally dramatic, saying something about his life being over. What ev? If Harvey's not okay when I find him, I'm gonna clean your clock. Like the maid does that? Duh. Yeah. Go away, Sabrina. I don't want you to see me like this. Harvey, you don't have to hide from me. I just want you to be happy, no matter what. And remember, I'm always here for you. Now hold on to the curb. Yo! Thanks for that smack in the head, Sabrina. I needed that. I live down the street from him. I sold him a big belt and a bag of nachos. Get ready for a new hero, sports fans. The future of skateboarding has arrived. <laughs> Harvey? Hey, Harvey! Would you please agree to join the team and be our captain? Cool. Wow. This is Perky Babble, and thank you for joining my special SSMS report. Harvey Kinkle, super teen on a skateboard. So, Harvey, at what point did you realize that you had such an amazing natural gift? Uh, last Saturday afternoon? Take it from me, Harvey Kinkle. Tough Melon skateboard helmets are the best possible protection against split ends and frizzies. When my hair's a mess, I use Tame It hair gel to give it that real Italian taste. Mwah. Do I find that skateboarding is really a metaphor or a symbolic comparison for the emptiness of life and yet the fullness? Yeah, I guess. Before we go, Harvey, tell us, is there any one person who inspired you as you rocketed your way to the top? Mm, no, none that I can think of. That's it. <laughs> I haven't heard from Harvey all week, and now he forgets that he has a best friend who never stopped believing in him? You should get your own talk show and tell him about it. Otherwise, you'll never get a hold of him. I have had it. I'm never going to speak to him again. Never, ever. Hilda has just now gotten around to mentioning your little visit to the spooky jar, Sabrina, and we have a big problem. My bad. Not only would I have said no to using the spooky jar, a skateboard contest is hardly a serious emergency, but I would definitely have nixed the use of that particular spell. It's very dangerous. The athletic stardom spell is a class A VT uh -oh. type spell. 
What does VT mean? Very temporary. It could wear off at any minute. Dang! Uh-oh. If the spell vaporizes while Harvey's in the middle of his extreme championship routine, then... Harvey's gonna end up with a lot more than a bruised ego. He's gonna end up with a lot of broken bones. <gasps> ah! The crowd is at a fever pitch here at the SSMS Extreme Skateboarding Championships, where the name Harvey Kinkle is on everyone's lips. Harvey, 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 Harvey. Get your Kinkle merchandise here! Look, I got the last Kinkle oven mitt! That's nothing. I got a bottle of Kinkle nasal spray. As your agents, we've negotiated to have your picture on every Sweetie cereal box from now until the year 2025. Yeah, okay. As long as it doesn't conflict with my movie career. Here you go, Ma. The contestants are taking their places. The Extreme Skateboarding Championships are about to begin. You have to see this competition track to believe it, ladies and gentlemen. It is intense. Harvey, now that you're famous, good news! We can be friends again. Forget it. Come on, little lady. This area is for contestants only. Harvey, you've got to listen. You had to drop out of the contest. Please, trust me, you need more practice. Get real, Sabrina. I'm famous. Famous guys don't do anything as boring as practice. They just are famous. But... <gasps> and now, Harvey <gasps> Kinko! Magic time, but keep it low profile. And Zelda, he's still out of control. Not for long. little dude. A distraction. And I've got the perfect one. Attention, everyone. My name is Gemini Stone, and I still suck my thumb and sleep with the nightlight. <gasps> oh, dear. to get that singing monkey for the front of the Sweeties box? Cancel the movie of the week deal and the shoe endorsement. 
Kinkle the King is Harvey the has been. Huh? Hmm. Uh, hey! Why does everybody hate me just because I made a couple of mistakes? Actually, I was the one who made the really big mistake. I let myself forget the truth about what it takes to be a winner. Well, I knew I could do it. I've been practicing my skateboarding for 10 hours a day, seven days a week since I was six years old. Think all that practicing had anything to do with him being so good? Could be. Definitely could be. Sorry I acted like such a jerk. I should have listened to you in the first place. It was unreal when everything started to fall apart. I was so freaked, I totally started to hallucinate. Magnets on my board, dog heads, it was gruesome. I want you to remember one thing, Harvey Kinkle. I'm always here for you. You're not gonna smack me in the head again, are you? No. Not now, anyway. Huh? Come on. Look! Ow! Gotcha! 